Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, in, in this uh, exercise, we would like to do one more circuit uh, reduction question. OK. So when you look to this circuit. It looks complicated. Too many resistors uh, connected and uh, something looks familiar to us like a Whitstone bridge. OK, and we have blunt plenty of resistors that are in series and in, in parallel. Now, let's follow the procedure as we outline it in the previous two examples. Okay, so the first thing I need to what? To identify the nodes. Because a question like this, there might be much less number of nodes that you thought. Okay, so I need to find the resistance between point A and point B. So point A, I will call it node number one. Of course, here it would be also number one. Because this is the same node. Point B is node number, node number two. Excellent. And now I will call this point number three, which is also this one, which is also this one. And when you look here to this long short circuit, so this is also number three. And this is the main trick in that question is to realize that this point and this point is exactly the same point. And then this is node number, node number four. And this node number five, these are not very significant because this will be melted soon. Okay, so there's no any other node. Let's start uh, identify which is in series and which is in parallel. So obviously this one kilo and this one kilo, they are in series. They share one node, which is node four, and nothing else share the same node. And uh, we have this one kilo and this one kilo also in uh, in series because again they share node number five. Okay, so these two are in series and these two in series. So these two in series, we will have like two kilo ohm. And these two in series will have also two kilo ohm. Okay, now, so this is one resistance two kilo ohm, and this is one resistance kilo ohm. So this two kilo and this one kilo, they are in parallel because they share node three and node two. So we have two kilo ohm here in parallel with one kilo ohm. Let's go down here clearly that this one kilo and this one kilo, they are in parallel. Why? Because they share two nodes, node two and node three. So we'll have one kilo in parallel with one kilo. Let's come here. This is this two kilo share two nodes with one kilo ohm, this one kilo ohm. So we'll, because they share the two nodes, one and one and three. Okay. So we will have here two kilo ohm in parallel with one kilo ohm. Finally, we will have this one kilo ohm is again in parallel with this this one with with this one because they share these two node node one and node number number three. Okay, so we will end up having four resistors only. Two kilo in parallel with one kilo is equal to two times one divided by two plus one, and this will give me 0.67. Same thing here, point six seven and then the one kilo and the one kilo each will give me 0.5 remember we said that when we have two resistors in parallel okay then and they are equal then the resultant one will be half so this is 0.5 and this is 0.5 okay so this is the first round of the circuit reduction now let's redraw the circuit as we mentioned before with all these resistors. So this is what we get. So this is the 0.65 resistance, one resistance only. This is the 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0.67. So you look, this is all these three now become this. These two become this. These three become this. And finally, these two become this. Now, let me rewrite the numbers. Okay, so this is node number 
one, this is node number two, and this is node number three. Okay, let's look now. Without writing the nodes, it will be very hard to identify anything. You get stuck. Some of you they think that this point five and this is point six five, they are in series, which are they are not in series because this node is shared with some other resistors as as well. Okay, so let's look. This point five kilo ohm, this point five kilo ohm is between point one and point three. One and three. And this point six seven as well is between one and three. So actually this point five and this point six five, they are in parallel. Not that only. Look here for this point six seven. It's between node two and node three. Two and three. And this point five is also between two and three. So they share the same two nodes. So they are in, in parallel. Now, here comes the trick. How to redraw the circuit so that you will not mess it up. How to redraw the reduct, reduced circuit from this and you will not miss it up because from my experience, many times the students, they don't know how to redraw the circuit to be able to reach to the final conclusion. So the trick here is keep the node numbers. So between two and three, we have this and this in parallel. So obviously we have the same thing. So mean, meaning the same value. So 0.67 in parallel with 0.5. So this is 0.67 times 0.5 divided by 0.67 plus 0.5. And this will get me 0.2. Eight six. So these two will become point two eight six, and these two becomes point two eight six. The question is how to draw them. Remember, this two parallel is between one and three, and these two parallel between two and three. So let's see. How, let's how we draw this. So between, we have point or node one, we have node three, and we have node two. So between one and three, I will have what? I will have 0.286. Between three and two, we will have what? Again, 0.286. And point A and B, actually, point A is node one and point B is node two. So when you look like this, it's very clear that the R equivalent, these two are in series. So it's equal to 0.286 plus 0.286, which is 0.573 kilo, kilo. So as you can see here, in my opinion, that the trick in finding the most complicated circuit, equivalent circuit of the most, uh, the most complicated one is to keep the numbering. As you go from one stage to another, keep the numbering, and then you can easily see how those resistors are connected either in parallel and in series until you reach to the, to the final, uh, final uh, conclusion. Now, let's go and uh, find the measurement of this circuit. I built the same circuit, and let's go and see uh, its equivalent equivalent circuit. This is the actual circuit for the previous uh, uh, solved uh, problem. And here is the top node, okay, of the, what look like a Whitson bridge. This is the bottom, this is the bottom node. And this is the short circuit, that short circuit, this node, the top one with the, with the bottom one, okay? So if you come here and do the measurement for the equivalent resistance between point A and B, so this is point A, here with the red and this is point B you look here the resistance is equal to 0.573 as we found it in the calculations